Today's proclamation of the Word of God is in the book of Isaiah, chapter 2. And it shall be in that day, says the Lord, that you will call me my husband and no longer call me my master, and they shall be remembered by their name no more. <clears throat> in that day, I will make a covenant for them with the beasts of the field, with the birds of the air, and with the creeping things of the ground. Bow and swords of battle will shatter from the earth to make them lie down safely. <clears throat> it shall come to pass in that day that I will answer, says the Lord, I will answer the heavens and they shall answer the earth. The earth shall answer with rain, with new wine, and with oil. They shall answer Jezreel. The word of the Lord. <clears throat> Please stand for our responsorial psalm, Psalm 145. In our response, the Lord is gracious and merciful together. The Lord is gracious and merciful. Every day I will bless you and I will praise your name forever and ever. Great is the Lord and greatly to be praised. And his greatness is unsearchable. Response. God is gracious and merciful. One generation shall praise your works to another and shall declare your mighty acts. I will meditate on the glorious splendor of your majesty and on your wondrous work. Response. The Lord is gracious and merciful. Men shall speak of the might of your awesome acts. And I will declare your greatness. They shall utter the memory of your great goodness and shall sing of your righteousness. Response. The Lord is gracious and merciful. The Lord is gracious and full of compassion, slow to anger and of great in mercy. The Lord is good to all, and his tender mercies are over all his works. Response. The Lord is gracious and merciful. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. The Holy Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ, according to St. Matthew, chapter 9. Glory, Glory to you, Lord Jesus Christ. We'll be reading from verse 18 to 26. While he spoke these things to them, behold, a ruler came and worshipped him, saying, My daughter has just died. But come and lay your hand on her, and she will live. So Jesus arose and followed him, and so did his disciples. And suddenly a woman who had a flow of blood for twelve years came from behind and touched the hem of his garment. For she said to herself, If only I may touch his garment, I shall be made well. But Jesus turned around, and when, she, when he saw her, he said, Be of good cheer, daughter. Your faith has made you well. And the woman was made well from that hour. When Jesus came into the ruler's house and saw the flute players and the noisy crowd wailing, he said to them, Make room, for the girl is not dead but sleeping. And they ridiculed him. But when the crowd was put outside, he went in, and took her by the hand, and the girl arose. And the, report, and the report of this went out into all the land. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Sa Gospel natin ngayon, we have two stories. Yung isang kwento, nakasandwich siya sa isang kwento. And... Meron di both of them makita natin yung power ng Panginoon. Yung isa yung merong bata na namatay. And sa other gospel it is said na 12 years old yung bata na to. So yung parents niya 
For 12 years, masayang-masaya dahil meron silang anak. And then, one day, namatay. And so, pumunta siya kay Jesus Christ para para pagbuhayin yung, yung anak nila. And then, yung pangalawa is yung babae who suffered for 12 years. Sa, she suffered dahil meron siyang sakit. Sa babae na to na merong issue of blood, she suffered for 12 years. And sometimes, ngayon nga, kung may sakit ka, kaya mo eh. Pero yung prevalent, yung malaking ano ngayon, yung issue ngayon is yung emotional sickness. Yung emotionally may sakit ka. Sometimes yung mga physical sickness na yan, tumataga, uh, nakakayanan. Yung emotional, yun yung maraming nagsisuicide ngayon. So merong may mga depression. They're suffering emotionally. Kaya ang hinihingi lang ni Jesus Christ sa atin ngayon, is to have faith in Him. And He does not require us to move mountain. Ang hiningin lang niya is just to touch the hem of His garment. No, yung laylayan ng damit. Yun lang. Napakaliit na bagay. If you're suffering right now emotionally, just touch the garment of Christ. Yung hem ng garment niya. Just, maliit na bagay lang. Just say His name. There is power in the name of Christ. Or, just say a little prayer. Jesus Christ, Son of the Living God, have mercy on me, a sinner. Ganun lang. Or maybe, punta sa church. Just attend a mass. Pakinig ka lang sa sa magandang balita, or just be in the presence of God. And kung kaya mo, receive the Eucharist. There is healing sa Eucharist. It will heal you, not just physically, but emotionally also. Yun lang, maliit na bagay lang ang hiningi Jesus Christ. Just have faith, and just touch the hem of His garment, and you will be healed. And then, sa pangalawang kwento, there are people then na sobrang emotionally uh, in pain sila na they become spiritually dead. Parang wala nang wala silang magawa. Just like yung bata. She's dead. Wala siyang magagawa. Pero tayo tayo na, na nakilala natin si, G, si Jesus Christ. We could have faith also na pagalingin yung taong yun and bring Christ to them. We are called to mission. So dalhin natin si Jesus Christ sa mga taong ito. So that they could uh, gumaling sila emotionally. Mabubuhay sila spiritually, yung spiritually dead ng mga tao. Kahit mabuhay yan, dali natin si Kristo sa kanila. Huwag nating isipin na wala silang pag-asa. They have, as long as Christ is there with them, as long as God, as long as Jesus Christ could touch them, they will be healed.